Hello and welcome to BuildBox. In this quick video, we want to give you a brief overview of the BuildBox interface. Now, if you've used previous versions of BuildBox, the interface is very similar, and you'll be up and running in no time. But we've added a few tweaks and enhancements in order to make the game building experience more streamlined than ever. On the left hand side, we have the assets bar. Now, when you add assets into your game, like characters or objects, you'll see those assets here on the left hand side in the asset bar. If you select any of these assets, you'll see that we have various options that pop up in the options bar on the right hand side. Now there are different options depending on the type of asset you select. So if you choose a character asset, those options available in the options bar will be different than an object, for example. We'll discuss these assets and different type of options in further detail in our upcoming videos. In the center section, you have your scene editor, and this is where you're going to build out your actual scene for use in the game. So you can move your character to where you want them to be positioned, you can move the enemies and objects around, this is where you're going to build the actual layout that players will see as they play through your game. In the scene editor, we also have this timeline editor, which you can open by clicking this arrow here. This allows you to further refine your scenes and their layout throughout the game. You can see all your existing scenes, including the start scene that we're working on right now, listed out down here. You can access the menu editor by clicking this button in the top left corner. And here you can simply select a section and start making edits to the options for that screen, or double click to edit that specific screen. The font editor can be accessed by clicking this button right here, and this is where you'll manage your in-game fonts. A new feature in this version of BuildBox is the ability to add multiple fonts to your game. I'll close this out, and we can access the settings menu by clicking this gear icon in the top right corner. This allows us to adjust our game project settings, our keyboard bindings for the game, and our advertisement settings. Finally, you also have the ability to preview your game once you have a build that you're ready to test. Simply click this play button, and a working preview of your game will pop up. Thanks for watching. We'll explore each of these features in further detail in our upcoming videos.